friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to read json file in c sharp so what we want to do is we have one json file here with json data and uh, we want to read the data in c sharp and show on view so uh, you can see that we have this json file and i have placed this inside the content folder so here is the json file country codes dot json so uh, it have different properties that you can see over here and, uh, and now uh, if you want to read the json file we we have uh, to write the code on the controller so here is the controller so uh, here we will use a stream reader to read the file and here you have to provide the uh, path of the file and server dot map path will uh, map the file with the root of the uh, application so after the, uh, so server map path will uh, term as the root and then we have to go inside content and here is the json file so you can change the uh, location accordingly as per your locations okay so uh, here we are just reading the uh, file in the stream reader and uh, we are uh, getting all the data to the end of the file in this uh, string variable so once we have the data in the string variable we can uh, deserialize the data now for deserializing the data we are using newtonsoft.json uh, library so you can get that from nugget packages so i will just show you we can go to manage nugget packages So uh, this is the package that we are using to uh, deserialize the JSON. Newtons of dot JSON. This is the package. So now uh, again going to the controller. Now for deserializing any JSON data, you have to create one class which actually matches the uh, properties of the uh, JSON file. So for example, here I have created this country code class and uh, I will just show you the property so I have country name continent currency capital and time zone in capital and I haven't written all the properties over here so I have just used a few of those so country name and continent capital time zone in capital and currency okay now uh, the properties with the hyphens in them uh, I prefer you to uh, change the properties to something without the hyphens so uh, it will map correctly okay so now again uh, coming back to the controller so after deserializing the object we are getting the data in the uh, list object over here which we have created above and then we are returning the data to the view so on the view part we have just uh, written a simple code to display the data here you can see now we will just run the application Uh, so here you can see that uh, the data is here I will again reload the page so you can check the code on the debugger so here you can see that uh, it is uh, reading the file over here from stream reader and we will uh, go to next step and in the string in the string variable you will be able to see that uh, here is the data in the json format okay so 
you can see that now we are just uh, deserializing the object in the list country code class so you will be able to see that 240 items are here and all the data that is mapped now we are just continue on the view and here you can see all the data which is from the json file so uh, i will provide you a link uh, of the source code also in the description of the video and if you have any kind of issue then you can comment on the video so uh, thanks for watching guys